Hi everyone, this is uh, Rajan Prasad. People call me RP sir. And previously I worked in uh, ACE Academy and Gate Forum and other institutes. These are the subjects I am taking in an academy now, mainly for civil engineering. And this is the subject I am taking for uh, general studies. It is common for all the branches. So whenever you are subscribing for the plus courses, don't forget to use this code RP Civil. Then only you will be getting 10% discount on your subscription amount like that. Now, coming to the courses which I am taking in an academy, already the complete course on transportation engineering was uh, completed on 17th June. Now, these are the two courses uh, currently going on. Complete course on structure analysis, complete course on uh, airport engineering, right? So, please be hurry in subscribing because uh, the physical classes may not be starting. Only you have to rely on the online classes and when it comes to online classes, an academy is the best one. When you are getting plus subscription, to get 10% discount, use my code RPCB. And coming to this topic, elastic curves of simply separate beams. Already we have seen elastic curves step by step procedure, construction and also which one? Uh, for uh, cantilever beams, we have seen. Now it is for simply separate beams. First example, this is your simply separate beam with which one? Uh, central point load. Step 1. What is it? Step 1? By means of visual inspection, we have to draw. How can you draw it by means of visual inspection? If we just try to draw it, there are two possibilities we can say. This is one possibility. How can you draw this one? Because load is acting in the vertically downward direction, so therefore the deflections also will be in the vertically downward direction. And always the deflections will be perpendicular to which one? Longitudinal axis of the members this is one possibility or you can also draw like which one like this you can draw and how can you check whether first one is correct or second one is correct we don't know if you don't know you have to check it by means of which one compatibility conditions what are the compatibility conditions this is a let us say this is b at a hinged support is there whenever hinged support is there what will happen on the because of vertical loading only vertical reaction is there whenever vertical reaction is there that vertical deflection will be zero but do you have any moment reaction no moment reaction is there means rotation is not zero or not yes rotation is not zero right rotation is not zero means first curve or second curve so this is not correct this can be corrected this place so rotation is present this theta and it b also if you observe this is a roller support whenever it is a roller support you are having only vertical reaction whenever this vertical reaction is there that vertical deflection theta b is zero but moment reaction is not there means what rotation is not zero so rotation is not zero means here for the second diagram rotation is zero for the first diagram rotation is not zero so which one is correct this is only correct on that first diagram is correct like that and now we can check its consistency with which one bending moment diagram also or not yes <coughs> when you try to draw this bending moment diagram what you are having positive bending moment diagram and sagging bending moment diagram completely or not yes whenever it is a sagging bending moment diagram and hogging bending moment diagram if you just observe this is your this is your which one sagging now whenever it is sagging bending moment diagram convexity always downward whenever it is hogging or negative bending moment diagram convexity always upward so sagging bending moment diagram means convexity downward in our uh, visual inspection also we have identified that convexity downward right from here also we can say convexity downward right like that so this diagram is not correct this diagram can be correct and if you observe sagging bending moment diagram positive positive means what convexity downward for the deflection profile convexity downward for the deflection profile right consistency is maintained with the bending moment diagram also now second example if you see overhanging beam with load on overhang portion and load on the central portion and by visual inspection how can we draw we don't know when you are uh, uh, drawing there are many possibilities you can get on that this is your reaction it be this is one reaction at d you can say and when you are drawing how uh, what is one possibility 
one possibility is like this one possibility is like this what is another possibility you can say this is another possibility what is another possibility you can say now this is another possibility so means uh, here theta uh, at d deflection and rotation are zero we'll just check which one is correct uh, from the compatibility conditions from compatibility conditions when b is roller support at roller support only vertical reaction is there when vertical reaction is there what will happen to the vertical deflection zero but moment reaction is not there means slope cannot be zero yes in this diagram slope is not zero in this diagram slope is not zero in this diagram also slope is not zero now at d if you observe because of vertical loading only vertical reaction will be there horizontal reaction will not be there because no horizontal load now and delta d vertical reaction is there means vertical deflection is uh, zero here vertical deflection is zero here vertical deflection is zero here vertical deflection is zero all are satisfying then hinged support moment reaction is not there means slope cannot be zero here slope is not zero at d here slope is not zero at d here slope is zero at d so this diagram is not valid at that yes among first and second only we have to consider and how can you check whether first one is correct or second one is correct we don't know we need to check it uh, uh, by means of which one bending moment diagram only or not yes if you try to draw this bending moment diagram for this uh, di uh, for this loading condition of uh, overhanging wheel this is negative hogging bending moment diagram this is positive sagging bending moment diagram for this particular loading condition now whenever it is sagging or positive bending moment diagram automatically what will happen sagging or positive bending moment diagram this is sagging diagram no yes or no both sides left right side upward movement left side upward movement this is sagging bending moment diagram whenever it is a sagging bending moment diagram convexity in the downward portion whenever it is a hogging bending moment diagram convexity in the upward portion so left hand side convexity upwards right hand side convexity downward if you just check left hand side convexity upward left hand side convexity upward right hand side what we need to have convexity downward right hand side convexity upward right hand side convexity downward so this is wrong no? right hand side we should have convexity downward for this it is there upward for this it is there downward so this is correct no? if you just observe this is your finalized direct positive bending moment diagram convexity downward negative bending moment diagram convexity upwards like this right this is your convex portion only or not yes this is your convex portion this is your point of contrafacture you can see here like that uh, we need to check the consistency between which one bending moment diagram and the deflection profile or elastic no. third example there what is the difference between the previous one and this one there on the simply support beam load is there overhand portion also will be there here only on the overhand portion beam is there first step from the visual inspection how can you draw when it is the visual inspection if you try to draw here yeah, there are many possibilities you can draw first possibility what is the first possibility it may be like this right and uh, second one what is possible if you observe it may be like this also right can it be in the upward direction now because load is in the downward direction means at this uh, place uh, c at this point c it must be in the downward direction either this one or that one now compatibility condition or you can also draw it in this in which manner the deflection zero like this deflection zero like this can we draw them like this if you observe ATA, hinged support, only vertical reaction will be there because of vertical loading. Vertical reaction means delta B equal to 0. Vertical reaction is there means deformation at the place will be 0. But theta B, sorry, theta A, delta A and theta A, delta A is not is 0. Theta A, will it be 0? 
theta a will not be zero why theta a will not be zero because it is a hinged support moment reaction is not there means rotation will not be zero it b if you observe roller support vertical reaction is there so vertical reaction is there means delta b is obviously zero or not yes and moment reaction is not there means theta b is not zero so here theta b is not zero theta b is not zero theta a is not zero delta a is zero is delta b is zero so this curve is satisfying all this curve is also satisfying all but this curve if you observe theta a zero but theta a is zero or not zero not zero theta b is zero theta b is zero or not zero not zero so obviously this is not the correct diagram among first and second only it will be there and now how can you identify whether first one is correct or second one is correct from the from which one bending moment diagram we can observe bending moment diagram when you try to draw on this portion a b this is hogging negative bending moment diagram whenever it is negative bending moment diagram what you can say negative bending moment diagram means convexity upward or not yes for a b portion convexity upward this is convexity downward that is convexity upward so this is not the correct one here b c also negative bending moment diagram means convexity upward only or not yes for bc convexity upward here convexity upward here so for both convexity should be upward so which diagram is satisfying first one or second one the second one is satisfying like this so this is your correct diagram throughout the length bending moment diagram is hogging so convexity will be throughout the length upward like that so this is your final diagram now another one overhanging portion with udl on the overhang only just by step one visual inspection how can you write there are many possibilities you can write first way of drawing it we just consider this if the loads are acting in the downward direction means uh, on the overhang portion deflections will be in the downward direction only this is one way of drawing it second way is what second way of drawing if you consider like that and another way in another way these are your reactions you can say you can draw like this without any rotations we can draw here or not yes but how can you check them by means of compatibility conditions what is the compatibility conditions this is point b this is point d right this is a this is b this is c this is d mentioned okay and uh, yet a if you observe vertical reaction is there means automatically uh, at b at b vertical reaction is there means delta v is obviously zero or not yes but theta b will it be zero non zero why only vertical reaction is there moment reaction is not there so slope will not be zero so this diagram is not correct at d also vertical reaction is only there so delta b is zero all curves are satisfying which one this delta d zero delta b zero delta d zero here delta d zero here delta b zero delta b zero but theta d will it be equal to zero non zero why only vertical reaction is there moment reaction is not there means rotation is not zero so here rotation is zero so therefore this diagram is not correct here rotation is non zero here rotation is non zero how can you say whether first diagram is correct or second diagram is correct only from bending moment uh, condition if you observe this is your bending moment diagram for this one for the given loading uniformly distributed load is there only on the uh, overhang portion this is your bending moment diagram and if you observe here negative here negative here negative on the three portions bending moment diagram will be negative or hogging whenever it is a hogging bending moment diagram what you can say sorry hogging you know? hogging means uh, yeah, if you consider this sagging whenever it is a sagging bending moment diagram convexity downwards whenever it is a hogging bending moment diagram convexity upwards for this deflection profile or not convexity upward 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 downward upward so which one is correct now second one is not correct first one is correct like that so this is your final diagram these are the values of uh, deformations theta e and y e at this place we just observe a few more examples what will happen here overhanging beam two overhangings are there it is loaded fully l by 4 l l by 4 is there at the center what you are having 
positive bending moment diagram right positive bending moment diagram is convexity downward right convexity downward here left side negative bending moment diagram means convexity upward right side also negative bending moment diagram or hogging bending moment diagram means convexity upward here also convexity upward convexity upward satisfied or not yes but if we just change the span values for the same diagram if you observe l l l instead of l by 4 l by 4 over hands we are taking l l over hands now the bending moment diagram will become what completely negative diagram only or not when it is completely hogging diagram left portion middle portion right portion completely hogging means and all all places we are having which one convexity upward only. on all places which one convexity upward only like that here convexity upward here convexity upward here convexity upward right like that the difference is a clear term? yes or no now last one when bending moment m is acting at the support a this is your bending moment diagram which diagram it will be hogging bending moment diagram only. hogging means what negative bending moment diagram whenever it is negative bending moment diagram always convexity upward or no? yes so the convexity upward so like that uh, we can draw which one deflection profile first one is by visual inspection second one is by which one compatibility conditions third one is by which one bending moment correlation right bending moment correlation like that so now whenever you are subscribing for the plus courses in an academy don't forget to use this code rpc will these are all the advantages you'll be getting when you are using my code rpc and this is our telegram group please try to join so that you will be attending quizzes every day when you are thinking to join online courses the best option is an academy and don't forget to use this code rpc when you are subscribing thank you